Hi Spartan, welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Hi Mac. Wait, Mac, you got your painting. You're so sweet. For real, for real, on God on God. I wait, you guys are all so cute. Hi guys. No, I mean like not in a not in a flirty way. I mean like <laughs> I mean like uh it's so cute how you guys always show up. Taiko Bobo. Hi guys. Hi Kim. Wait, why the why the hell do we have so many chatters? You guys don't watch the fucking mainstream. Is it because the art channel's more niche, be honest? I didn't even tweet that I'm live. I just got home from work, so lay. I got off work just now. Wait, do you guys carpool? <laughs> Hi, guys. Oops. Okay, I tweeted, I drive and Mac picks the music. If I pick the music, I would be picking, like, pop and then also, like, uh, Korean pop. Not, like, pop pop, but, like, soft pop. I like Korean soul. It's so pretty. Uh, guys, read the pinned message. Make sure you have my book... Wait, make sure you have my website bookmarked. That way you can stay up to date on the new drops. It will be available on Friday. And... I know I said previously the giveaway will be on this channel. Peace and light. People cry. The giveaway will be on Friday on the main channel. You know, we'll we'll do stuff on the main channel for maybe like an hour. We'll do a dictionary, you know, the classic. I I don't have the time nor like motive to make a PowerPoint. <laughs> like I wanted to, but guys, my grandma died. <laughs> I'm sorry. We're not talking about it. I already farmed earlier. <laughs> I'm coping. But yeah, they'll be available on Friday. Also, I know I posted a picture of the art on my Twitter. Please, AI scalpers, do not steal it. Please. Wait, how? Somebody liked it already? What the hell? Also, I'm listening to my own music today, and by that, I mean I'm watching Squeaks' stream on my TV, and I don't want you guys to hear it, because I don't want you guys to, like, know that I watch Squeaks. Like, I have it connected to my headphones right now. So I feel like the music is so loud. We hear it still? You're lying. You're lying. You are lying. You literally can't hear it. It's connected to my Bluetooth headphones. You're lying. I don't... No, I'm kidding. Okay, you're lying. You know what I think about liars. I think they lie because they have to. I hear it too. No, you guys, stop. 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 You guys, are, you guys are lying. Look, the only thing the live viewers should be hearing is Kirby music, which I stopped. And by that, I'm explaining because the VOD watchers will not hear music in the VODs. Look, I'm literally looking at my OBS and there's no sound. I hate- this is why I can't stand you guys sometimes. You know, Gaslight Gatekeep Girl Boss is fine, but like, I don't like when people gaslight for tech issues. Yeah, but peace out too, we can see if that'll make you safe. Okay, I need to keep posting. Face cam on in one minute. I'm not even kidding. Okay, I just put the wrong link in my go live notif on Instagram. Oopsie. What does wicked mean? Wicked is kind of like radical, cool, sick.
Can I be a mod? You gotta send me a cover letter and your resume, please, and then I'll accept a mod application. I've only ever offered one person mod, and they politely declined. And because of that, I have trauma. I'm never asking anybody ever again. I'm not even a mod? Yeah, guys, spoilers, I offered it to Mac, and they said no. <laughs> Wait, what? You can't say a bad word? This is my business account, no swearing. Wait, you also can't say simp. Guys, this is my business account. Guys. Okay, I'm almost done. I'm almost done posting. Here, you know what? Face game on. Ain't no way. Hi, guys. I lied. It's my PNG tuber. The only rule that differs from the main channel to this channel is that in this channel, you technically can't really backseat game. So. But we want to be sympathetic. Wait, that's actually pretty good. Mods write that down. Can I say? Okay. <laughs> then this is my business account. Guys! Guys! <laughs> Dude, I... I can't even leave you guys alone for like five seconds. Uh, I didn't enable the clip command on this channel because who's gonna watch art clips? Type one. Who shall we? You realize, Spartan, if you get banned on this channel, you automatically get banned on the main, so you have to behave. Okay, guys. Man, maybe we maybe the clips editor should work on this channel too, which is me, which I'm not. Guys, look at this new angle. Today, the plan is simple. Boys. Okay, I need to mute my TV. I can't... I can't... My TV's muted. Now I can't hear squeaks in my ear. Okay, today the plan is simple. Last time I was live on this channel, we carved a stamp. And we carved the... Tulip stamp. And it came out pretty dang good. Pretty clean. So, the other night, I worked on carving the rose, and then right before this stream, because I decided I didn't want to carve on stream, I honestly got really anxious carving on stream. So, also, the music is really fucking loud. Why is this comp so loud? Um, so, I, I felt really anxious carving the stamp on stream. I think it's because I had to, like, glance at chat, because with this setup, I'm facing this way, my computer's here, so... That's why I didn't carve this one on stream. I literally did this one after I ended the Mario Kart stream. This took about two hours. But, you know, I ate. No, it took an hour and a half because I ate for 30 minutes. <clears throat> okay, don't, Spartan, don't say that. Please, okay, how do we, how do I give you a warning? You, please don't make jokes about, like, unaliving. Here, I'm giving you a warning just so, like, it's on your record. Don't make jokes like that, even if it's, like, you're joking. Like, for out of context, just, to like, please be careful. Okay, anyway, let me finish my intro. <laughs> so, between streams today, I worked on carving the daisy. So, today... We're going to work on making embossed fruits. Now, can anyone in the chat room make a guess on what embossing means before we get started? And if you get it right, I will give you a high five. Does anybody know what embossing is? And do not look it up on Google or DuckDuckGo or Mozilla Firefox or... Or... I'm looking at my browsers. <laughs> I like the daisy best. Thank you. Okay, I don't want to see Bussy in my channel. Guys, seriously, this is the art channel. You can't say gay in the chat. Printing with little mountains and bot. No, that's, I'm sorry, that's not right. Carve, mold, or stamp a design on a surface or object so that it stands out in relief. Okay, you, you copied and pasted that shit. <laughs> 
Teacher's pet, teacher's pet. Okay. Well, that's basically what embossing is. I didn't Google it. You literally put... You put... You put parentheses in a quotation. Pay chatter? Who would pay the chatter? I'm not paying any chatters. Who's paying somebody to be here? Is that your sister? No, she's at work. She's getting a bag. It was me. Why would I tap in my own chat? That's like the most silly thing. Okay, so an embossed print can refer to any type of raised indentation or additive substance to a flat plane to make it raised or indented. So, you know how when you draw on your paper? You know how when you draw on your paper in pencil or pen, and when you lift it up, you can see like there there'll be an indentation on the back side. So that is one way to emboss. You can do it on metal, on paper. But to me, my favorite method of embossing, and this is one that my mom taught me a few years ago. My mom did a lot of mixed media art, and you know what? I copped some of her supplies when we moved out, and then I also bought some more. But this method of embossing uses embossing powder, which is Basically, a similar texture and grain size to mica powder, but it uses, it's basically like teeny tiny plastic powder, and then you heat set it. So it melts onto the paper, and then it creates a raised design. Also, guys, click follow right now. So, to demonstrate... See how the line art has a gloss sheen to it? So this specific print was my tester I did last night. It's not the cleanest. I don't know if this camera will focus on it. But if you look really, really close, pretend it's focused. There's like tiny black speckles throughout. Because that means the powder didn't stick to the adhesive ink properly. So... I wish I could. Yeah, it's not gonna focus super clearly on it. I'd have to, I'd have to change my aperture. But this print is not a good one. Let me just say, it's not good. So, it led me to a spiral. Now, to just explain again how the speckling occurred, when you use, because I have both clear and black embossing powders. These were like five, six dollars from Hobby Lobby. We hate them, but we love them. So to reemphasize the point, this is one with just no colored in, right? Now you can kind of see there's speckling here, speckling here. These two were the first testers I did with just testing the powder. So I was like, uh-oh, the powder is sticking to the paper when there's no adhesive ink. So I was like, shit, I can't do embossed prints. So I spiraled for like 20, 30 minutes. My sister was in the room because, you know, my grandma just died. <laughs> Not making art. So I was like, man, what do I do? Like, I, I can't do this if it's going to be messy. Like, what the fuck am I going to do? And then I remembered that you can use any type of ink for embossing. It just has to be wet ink. So when you go to Michael's or Joanne's or Hobby Lobby, you'll see embossing ink next to the embossing powders. So the difference between regular ink, regular dye, or pigment-based ink and embossing ink is that obviously dye and pigment inks are colored. Embossing ink, you can get colored versions, but it's like an ink that takes longer to dry. And it's a bit more adhesive because it takes longer to dry. So I was like, shoot, what if I just use regular ink? And you know what the result was? Okay, actually, I, I tested with brown ink. This was the result. So this is brown ink with clear embossing powder. As you can see, it's still glossy, but not as much. Um, it's a bit hard to see. Side, you can probably tell like side to side the difference in gloss. Like, yeah, it's still glossy, just not as much. You can see how black pops more. 
that's because um since the black one used embossing ink and black powder versus regular dye ink and clear powder the clear powder didn't adhere adhere as much but it still has a slight gloss quality to it it's more subtle which i kind of like anyway honestly so yeah so tldr if you want to try embossing at home all you need is just any old ink pad that has like a good amount of ink in it powder and then you need a, a hot gun so you, you can use a hair dryer but they have like specialty made heat guns it has to be heat set it can't be cold air because the hot air melts the plastic or the plastic powder and even if it's plastic powder it's not like is it toxic <laughs> uh okay it doesn't say if it's non-toxic or not but either way i'm gonna be wearing a mask when i'm working with it because obviously you don't want to accidentally inhale mica sized powders so guys i'm wearing a mask mask up please make sure if you're doing arts and crafts at home that you're working safely when you need to I have a window open, I got fans on, and I got my mask on. Bucket mask on. Uh, so yeah. So that is a little bit of what I had to do last night. So today, we're going to be making the prints that will be available on Friday. I know somebody asked like five minutes ago <laughs> how much these will be selling for. Um, I didn't answer it then because I wanted to explain the process fully and didn't want to get sidetracked. So... Plan is simple. Um, each of the stamps takes about an hour and a half to three hours, depending on the complexity. Each of these four designs took about an hour and a half to two. The tulip took three hours, but that's because I did it on stream. So in terms of labor, a stamp would be worth minimum like $55 if I were to sell just the stamp for labor. So then in turn, a print will not be $55, right? Because you're paying for somebody to stamp the image and then emboss it, right? So we'll see like how long it actually takes to make each print today. And then we will determine the price at the end, like once we get an average of the times. When I was doing test runs last night, it took about, like, if I were to average the time in which to stamp, ink, emboss, and heat set, it probably takes about two minutes per image. And then to color it, because I will be selling colored versions. The colored versions will be colored with marker, not watercolor, because the paper I'm using today is... I actually have it down here. The paper I'm using is Bristol. It's like a, it's like a mix between mixed media and cardstock. It can hold a bit more liquid because I did testers last night with watercolor paper and they crinkled a bit too much because when you're using the heat gun, it obviously affects the texture of the paper. Um, when I was doing testings on certain watercolors or watercolor paper, it curled the paper too much. So I will be using Bristol and the Bristol doesn't hold watercolor as well. And I don't want people to get like a super bent print to be frank I, I think i honestly think it would look better with watercolor but in terms of like quality compared to visual i think it's better to prioritize it like a more flat print because with the embossing you can't like bend it you can't curl it too much because it will like like the actual plastic will look snapped or cracked if it's bent too much and that's what i noticed when i did testers of watercolor paper so yeah TLDR, we'll figure out the actual price at the end, but for a simple black and white embossed print, probably, hmm, hmm, I don't know. I would say, like, the problem is you don't want to make it too cheap because then people think it's cheap. <laughs> But then you don't want it to be too expensive because obviously you don't want to like price people out. I think base black and white five to seven dollars. That's my guess. Full color ten to twelve. 
But keep in mind, I did say when these are up for sale, I will offer I will offer bundles. So people can choose to buy just a single card or they can buy all four of either the black and white or the colored versions for a discounted price. So if there are people who want to click, there will be discounted options. And whenever I do have more like stamp designs available, I'll do like little gotcha bags. For those who like gambling, I mean gotcha. So yeah, that's the plan. We'll talk about more pricing stuff later, but that's my guess as of right now. Because prints are quote unquote easier to make, but it still requires like a level of craftsmanship. Like even this final print with the brown and the clear embossing isn't super clean, but it's still like good for what I did for like a first few attempt. How many people are getting the discounted gifted sub offer? I don't know. They said, I don't, they said a small percentage of users, which I think it makes sense for them to offer discounted for like a bunch of gifted subs anyway. Like, I don't know why they didn't do that originally, but you know, just how Twitch is. Sorry, I'm looking at my stamp. I thought I clipped, but I didn't. Are the sale of the prints going to be limited to the yes? Oh, we're, we're going to talk about that. So my Shopify website can ship to anywhere that Shopify takes transactions to. It's like 20 plus countries. There's a full list on my website. Um, But for Friday's giveaway on the main channel, for people who win the cards... That can be anywhere in the world that I can mail an envelope to. For the gift cards, it has to be US only because I can only make gift cards for my uh, resident country, which is US of it. But for sales of the prints, to answer your question, it can ship to anywhere that the Shopify takes currency in. You should collab with Peace and underscore 17. Actually, we are. I'm doing a stream on the main channel with my VTuber. Also, hi, Alien. You know what? I'll say it. I think Lady Gaga's overrated. My hands are up. I'll say it. Okay, enough yapping. Should we get to work? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to be putting an example of what we are working on at the top of screen. And also... Near the end, once we actually have all the embossed prints made, then we'll start coloring. So, looking at these prints side to side, you can see the difference between like a brown ink compared to black ink, right? Black ink stands out a lot more, but the brown ink looks a bit softer. If anybody has watched Fruits Basket, the remake of the anime, they did brown islands and it was so pretty. It made everything look softer, more kinder. So, for this line of stamps, I'm going to be using black ink and clear powder. Because stained glass is traditionally made with lead, <laughs> which um, sets to either, like, black or silver. So, when you make traditional, or when you make modern stained glass, people will use, like, let's pretend this is the glass. They will outline the glass in copper, because copper is a thin metal. And then they will heat set it in place with um zinc i think it was and zinc will set and black or silver but you can also get like copper rods and have like a copper colored outline but i think the black looks better honestly so for this specific illustration line okay you can't say that in the chat dude <laughs> sorry i need to not look at chat when i'm giving instructions <laughs> so for this line i will be using black outlines and clear powder I have to rearrange my table a little bit. What's nice about this Bristol pad is that the pages tear out quite easily. Okay. Now this is going to be the nerve-wracking part. Like I said, I am wearing a mask right now. I don't want to inhale the powders. That would not be fun. So I have to work quickly. 
I don't necessarily need to wear gloves because, like, the powder is not corrosive or anything. But if you have, like, texture issues, wear gloves. Now, this little jar was $6 from Hobby Lobby, but it'll last a long time. The jar is about an inch tall. About an inch its circumference. Okay. So, I'm going to prep five of each variation. So, that means today we have to make five times four. Five times four. Oh, we have to make 40 prints. Oh, my God. Okay, it's 3.47 right now. Okay, so the process... You ink your stamp as normal. I'm going to be using hybrid black dye ink. You don't have to ink it like crazy. You just have to make sure all of the stamp is fully inked. Oh, that was a lot. <laughs> it's fine if you put too much because you can always just shake it off later. You know, Taylor Swift. Okay, so that was our first one. Now that looks like something else, but I promise it's embossing powder. Now on to the next one. You know what? Maybe I'll just prep three of each because I can always make more. Guys, type one if you're going to buy one on Friday. Oh, wait. No, I have to make five of each. I'm going to send a set to Emmy Beef. Now, notice when I'm stamping, I'm using my palm. Because if you use your fingers, you're more likely to wobble your actual stamp. And get a botched print. Okay, that one was a little bit better. I pressed a bit harder. Ooh, that was a lot. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I just spilled all over my lap. <laughs> okay, it's fine, it's fine. That's why we wear the mask. Okay, I need a tissue. Oh, oh, oh no. All good. <laughs> Just happy little accidents. <laughs> okay, so if you're rich and you're bougie, they have like specialty little trays that you pour the powder into when you're done. But you know what? I'm a brokey, so I'm just going to use paper. Now, I did not mean to spill this little bit. That was an accident. So if you had a tray, you would, like, dump this into a tray. I just spilled another whole bunch on the table. If you can't tell, I'm a novice. Now, when you take the powder off, you have to tap it off, because if you use a brush, since the ink isn't, like, glue, you'll shake off a bunch of powder. You know, it's a good rage exercise. So now that I've shaken the powder off, 
you can see it's not fully black anymore, right? Because the clear powder is on top of it. I'm going to throw this. It's just copy paper. We're going to throw this away at the end of the day. Because the issue with using those reusable trays for embossing powders is that you will always have res residual powder left over. So like if you were to use black powder and then white powder right after, you're probably going to get remaining black powder inside your white powders if you don't clean the tray properly. So honestly, I'd rather just use a sheet of paper and throw it away. Clean. Now, the next two. I know I spilled a bunch of powder there. We'll wipe it there in a bit. Now you basically just keep repeating this over and over and over and over again. And I'm seeing some spots on the stamp that I missed when carving, so I'm just going to touch up a little bit. Okay, I think it's touched up. Now for the next round. I, sh I just realized I'm right-handed. I should have gone from left to right. Clueless. Okay, back to work. You know what's cool? We can actually go back in the VOD and like see how long this actually takes. Now I am going a bit slower for stream. Because I don't want to like mess up, mess up, and like make you guys have like less faith, trust, and pixie dust in my ability. Lean. We're going to be cutting these prints out so it's fine if they're not like completely straight on the paper. I just realized. Oh no. I clipped this one with my fingernail. Uh, it might still work. I don't know. We'll see at the end. Shit. I went like this. It should still work. We'll see. If that's a botched print, then I won't sell it. We'll give that one to Emmy. <laughs> like I said, I should have worked from left to right. I don't know what I'm doing. The only thing that's kind of annoying is that you have to do one stamp at a time because the ink will dry if you do like two stamps at once in between. Can I have it? No. I'm, you know how some artists will sell like botched prints or botched stickers? Like, that's fine. Oh, also, there's finger marks here. Dude, what the fuck? You know, some artists will sell like botched prints. I don't want to do that. Like, if you're getting a handmade print, I want you to get quality. Why'd I put the lid on? Why'd I put the lid on?
I'm standing up. It's hard to work crouched over a desk sometimes, you know? Shoutouts to my office workers. Do I have a favorite color to paint with? I'll be honest, I like painting in grayscale. I think it looks very cool. Being very careful. Someone was at the door. <laughs> Who's gonna answer? These ones came out okay. And I spilled over the edge again. Yeah, Twitch staff, this is embossing powder, not anything else, I promise. I was in New York a few weeks ago, and I saw a pigeon eating cocaine with a squirrel. Yo, they got lit. Okay. <laughs> okay, now for the fun part. We can actually start heat setting now. I have powder all over my desk. These powders aren't super hard to clean up. You just have to use, like, a wet wipe. Now time for the gun. This is just a regular heat gun. You can find it at most craft stores. It doesn't take super long to warm up. But... Basically, you're just going to hold the nozzle about like an inch or two away from your paper. And you just blow. Now, you might be able to see it on camera. See how as the powder is melting, it's getting darker? It's like magic. So you can see the paper is curling because the heat set. This paper curled a lot less than the watercolor did. Look at that. See how it's glossy now? Clean. So whenever your embossing powder is fully set, it should look kind of bubbly and glossy. There's one quarter I missed. Now it's good. It's very important that you don't burn your embossing powder. Because if you were just hold it here like this for 30 seconds straight versus the 5 to 10 that it should take, it will burn and you will start a fire with your paper. So just know you can see the color difference between heat set and then just loose powder on the paper. When 
your powder is glossy and fully opaque and set, you'll be able to tell. <clears throat> so the nice thing about embossing powder is that I can leave the powder on the paper like this for like a day and it'll still stick. As long as I don't physically rub it or move it, it should be fine. So when you're doing this, you should do batches, like stamp your whole sheet, powder it all, and then heat treat it in one go. So yeah, we're going to heat treat the rest of these. Ooh, another one done. This one isn't as clear of an embossing print because I just didn't press hard enough with my stamp. It's hard to tell on camera, but it's like slightly of a like a light dark compared to this one. Or light black compared to that one. Okay, let's do the other two. Not gonna lie, it is so satisfying to watch the plastic melt. <laughs> These two are pretty clean. These prints aren't as clean. I didn't put enough... I think I waited too much time for this one to dry because the embossing in the center, you can't see it on camera. I'll do close-ups whenever they're cooled. It's not as opaque. Okay. This one's still a bit warm. It's not going to be like burning hot to the touch, but you should still wait like 30 seconds to a minute before you handle it. Because yeah, it's still plastic. These came out pretty good. These two are like 9.9s out of 10. This one's like an 8.5. And this one is like a 7. The hardest thing about doing embossing prints is that your margin of error is very high. <laughs> so it's a lot of material used. Okay, I think. Let's see. There's a smudge here. I can fit one more here. Probably two more prints. I can fit three more prints on this page. I smudged my fingers here. Next time on the next page, we're going to work left to right. That was my mistake. Okay, next print. Three more. Now, something you may notice is that I store my ink pads upside down because, you know, water evaporates up. 
So if you store your ink pad bottom side up, the ink will float to the bottom of the ink pad versus if you store it this way, the ink will um, evaporate up towards the plastic lid. So when you're storing, ink pad, storing your ink pad, store it upside down. Pro tip. Which way is up again? I uh, just look north. Ooh, that one's crooked. It's fine though. I don't think I went off the edge of the paper. Oh, okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. You know, that's the beauty of making handprints. Mistakes are fine. <laughs> okay, next two. What's the white stuff? It is embossing powder. You can probably find it in most craft stores. It's a powder that is a similar texture to mica powders, but it's like fine, fine, fine plastic. So that way when it's heat treated, like with the heat gun, it will melt. Ooh, Colleen, that one was perfect. I'm standing up to this one. See, when you move your whole wrist to spread the powder like this, you have a lot more control. Colleen! Is there pink embossing powder? Oh yeah, there's all types of colors. But honestly, I think it's better to get different types of colored ink pads. They have like millions of colors, basically. And then just getting clear embossing powder. Because when you work with colored embossing powders, you're going to get a more messy transfer or more messy like heat set. Okay, let's tap this off. Easy. Okay. You can't be asking that, Spartan. Okay, Spartan, you're getting a 10 second timeout. Calm down. Okay, on this print, there's some plastic fiber sticking up, so I'm going to get a tweezer and take it out. Because sometimes the powder will clump up. Don't be asking for that either. Jeez. Plus, isn't Grinder for gay people? I mean, like, gay men.
just taking off the powder that was here. We can fit one more stamp here. How long has this taken me? But you can make an account anyway. I don't think me catfishing would be a good look. I don't want that to be my cancelable offense. Like, I don't want anything to be a cancelable offense, but... I think making a grinder would not be a good look for me. Okay, those paper fibers were residual remaining paper fibers from the actual stamp copy print traffic transfer. Oh, close! Almost botched that big time. Okay, Spartan, you're being weird. We'll see you tomorrow. How do I time you out for a day? <laughs> Seconds in day. Eight, six, four, zero, zero. We'll see you tomorrow. I gave you a warning. You didn't listen. Clean. They tread on the water too much? A bit. But let's not to talk too much slang. People make mistakes, and as long as it's not too crazy, we forgive them. So Spartan, I know you're lurking. Don't take it personally, just know when to calm down. Okay, heat setting time. All done.
Okay. Now that this page is fully heat set, there will always be residual powder, even if you tap. So I'm just going to use a paintbrush, since these are all fully set, just to wipe off any powder. Very little powder was on the paper, but still got it off. Okay, we got one page done. Isn't that going to take so much powder? Not really, honestly. Because, okay, yeah, let me turn this sideways. This drawer was basically full, right? And it's still basically full. It looks like I used a little bit, but honestly, not that much. This can probably make like 100 to 150 prints. So I got a lot of powder. Embossing powder. Okay, now we cut. When I cut things out, I like cutting out sections and then cutting closer to edges, personally. Because since these stamp designs are exactly 2.5 by 3.5, I'm going to be cutting up right to the edge of the print. I think today on stream, I'm only going to be doing some of the tulips because today is just going to be a demo. Okay, so now cutting off all the edges. The reason why I'm using these small scissors is because these are the sharpest scissors I have. And like the larger scissors are like too hard for me to use the hinge on. That's one. I'm looking at these six prints, and three are already not good enough for sale. That's a four, not two, demente. It's 
But that's okay. I'm not a machine. Are you sure you're not a machine? Beep boop bop. I mean, there was one streamer who was a robot, technically. Peace and bot is still a thing. How do I know that you guys are not robots? Type one. If you're not a robot. Also, we gotta do the Kapka check, so if you're not a robot, put a horse emoji. In programming, zero means one? What? Ain't no way. Thank you for the follow. Plus one. Can we get some W's in the chat for the new follower? Thank you. The final... Embossed stump. Yeah, my chat is still 10 minute follow here. Because since when I'm doing art, I can't look at chat right away. It's best to just be 10 minute mode. Just to be extra safe. Yeah, 10 minute is the minimum besides zero, so. I wish it was only five, but. Twitch wants us to be secure, secure. Okay, so these are the five prints that we made for that first batch. Some are better than others. Oh, wait, I made seven! Yo! <laughs> okay, I made seven. Cool. Even better. Now, just looking at all these. I'll do close-ups in a second. All of them have their own human error. That's normal. So to me, when it comes to physical artwork, a little bit of human error is fine. But it just can't be a large human error. Looking at these... Only three are good. L, L, L. I told y'all, embossing is a high mistake rate. Okay, these three are good. The reason why I'm saying these three are good is because the only error... This one, error-free. This one, literally perfect. This one... You can see a little bit of black line here, but that's from the stamp. A little bit of black line here, but that's from the stamp. So that's not crazy, crazy. This one, same issue. A little bit of black from the stamp, because these are before I touched up the stamp a little bit. So these three are fine. The ones that have the little black lines in it from the stamp, those will be colored versions. I'm putting them in different piles. Now, these four are not good for sale. 
Let me explain why. Look at all, all of them together. You can see that this one is a little bit lighter. It's because I didn't press hard enough on the stamp. This was the first one we did. So this one, not good. This one, this one, the actual stamping came out perfect, but you can't see on camera. It's a lot, it's a lot easier to see in person, obviously, but not as much embossing powder adhered to the center mark, centermost section. So the gloss of the actual powder is super glossy here, but not as glossy here. So this one, the stamping was perfect. No accidental black lines, but the actual powder fucked up. So that one's not good. What was wrong with this one? Oh wait, actually I lied, this one's good. I don't know why I said this one was bad. This one's good, actually. This one's perfect. This one could be a black and white one. Okay, this one, bad. This one, the stamp botched. You can kind of see this side here and along the bottom. See how the line isn't super straight? It's kind of wobbly. It's because when I was stamping, I rocked my hand accidentally. I remember stamping this one. So I rocked the stamp a little bit. So then the actual ink got smeared slightly. So this one, not good. So out of the seven I did, two are good for coloring and two are good for just black and white. Now that's a four out of seven rate. Not good. <laughs> the executives are not gonna like that. But you know, like I said, embossing powder is really finicky to work with. And if you mess up the actual inking part, then obviously the embossed final is not going to look good either. But you know, that's okay. I'm going to put these in piles of colored and white. For Friday, for every single stamp design, I'm going to have prepped three of each available. So three black and white and three colored. Because as you can see, stamping those seven probably took about 30, 40 minutes. It takes a good amount of time because you have to be very careful. Um, even the one that I clipped with my fingernail, I was still able to touch it up and it was fine, but still, it's very finicky work. And you know what? That's okay. So I'm going to set these aside. Now, that was a little demo on how to emboss. I'm no expert, but even the pros mess up too. I'm going to go wipe my table down, and then we can start coloring. And then I can take my mask off. Now I'm using a wet wipe, not a paper towel. That way the wet wipe will actually pick up any powder that I missed. I spilled powders on my markers earlier. Okay, now that all the embossing is done for now, we can start coloring. So as I said earlier, I decided for these specific designs, I'm going to be using tone bones and just regular ink, and I'll explain why now. So, since these are botched prints, we can use these to practice with. I colored one of the final embossed prints last night, and the difficulty I found is that since the embossing is raised, it's plastic. And obviously, plastic resists water. 
Wait, guys, I have a phone call. I have to take it.
Yo, sorry for the wait. Um, they had to cancel an appointment I had, so... And they rescheduled it for tomorrow. Guys, I don't know if I'm gonna stream tomorrow. She... Um, so awkward. Because <laughs> my doctor, um, I guess they had a baby, so <laughs> they're gonna be gone next week. Uh, or the... For the next month, basically. So, they were like, we can see you tomorrow or in end of August. And I was like, oh, shit. Um, also, my camera died. <laughs> Look, I have my hand in front. And it's dead. No! Wait. It's dead! My camera's dead! Oh, what am I gonna do? Um, guys, <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, okay, well, the camera's dead. Wait, do I have the charging cable? I can check. It's in my sister's room, though. Also, I just realized I have to make dinner in, like, 15 minutes. I'm sorry. I am genuinely really glad I answered the phone because... Scheduling appointments is horrible because my doctor it takes like two buses to get there. So I'm like shit Now I have to rearrange my whole schedule. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can find the char the charging cable for my camera You guys behave Um, I hate to be the bearer of bad news. I can't find the charging cable. Well, I can't find it. Narrated stream? Uh, I don't know. I'm, like, fucking annoyed now. I bet you guys are, too. Um... I keep on, like, moving my hands in front of the POV of the camera, thinking that the camera's on. Well, guys. The camera's dead. Stream is dead. <laughs> um. I'm sorry, guys. I think I, I'll just end it. Look. Like. It's, it's not. It's not. Looking. <laughs> I swear this never happens. I told my sister to buy a fucking dumb battery for this camera. A dummy battery is like a a battery that has a cable built into it. That way you can like have it plugged in all the time. I told her to buy one and she didn't because she's like, it should be fine. It has a long battery life. It died after. Oh, wait, I just realized. We used this camera for three hours the other day, and I didn't charge it. Because I couldn't find the charger. Oh my god, maybe I'm the villain. Uh... Well, guys, I think I'll end it here. I'm sorry. I really am. Damn, this fucking sucks. Um, I'll finish the cards offline today. And then... Tomorrow, because if they're launching Friday, I have to get them done by tomorrow. Um, I just learned I now have a doctor's appointment tomorrow. W. So, yeah. <laughs> so, um, I probably won't get home till like 2. So, if I do stream tomorrow. Shit, I wanted to fucking stream tomorrow. Oh, I hate it because like whenever I go out, I'm like exhausted. Like on days where I have to do errands, I just don't stream. I don't do shit. Man, dude, this fucking sucks. Okay, I'll be fine. I'm just like annoyed now. Anyway, I'm gonna finish the cards offline. 
You know what? The next time you see the cards will be on Friday. Big reveal! <laughs> you guys just saw early leaks today. So yeah. I promise they'll be out on Friday. I'm gonna wrap here for today. Sorry for the abrupt ending. L camera, L doctor. But the doctor did have a baby, so I guess that's a W. Um, I don't know when I'll be live on this channel again. Either when we get a painting order or whenever. I just want to do art. So make sure you're following and have Dodi's on. I might be live on the main channel tomorrow. I should stream tomorrow. And if not, you'll see me Friday. Okay, bye, guys. I'm really mad, actually. Why'd the camera die? Okay, so if, if I didn't charge it from the other day, bye, Tooth. If I didn't charge it from the other day. Also, thank you guys for waiting. Like, I felt really bad because the lady who was helping me schedule my appointment, she was, like, overly apologetic. She's like, I'm so sorry, but he just, the doctor just had a baby. <laughs> and I was like, it's okay. Because the appointment is to follow up on my blood clot. So she was freaking out. She's like, I really hope you're okay. I'm like, no, I'm fine. The blood clot is basically gone. And she's like, oh, thank goodness. <laughs> she's like, I got really worried because you had, like, an emergency follow-up. And I'm like, it's fine. It's not an emergency anymore. <laughs> It died for you, so you could do the other stuff you need to do? Yeah, for real. For real. On God, on God. I'm still- I'm still annoyed, though. I should have charged the camera. That was my fault. I'll find the charger tonight. It should be up by tomorrow. Oh. But at least I got all the embossing done that I wanted to show on stream. I wanted to show how difficult it is. Embossing is hard. Oh, also... You might have seen the coloring I did for the fuck iris print. It's a different color palette than what we talked about the other day because I was thinking about it. And yeah, the look of like a traditional color palette of red, blue, orange, deeper colors, more saturated is like more authentic. But I think I like the pastel. I might launch with both pastel color palette and then traditional color palette, but I'm thinking about it still. I don't want to offer too many variations because then people get overwhelmed. But yeah, they'll be done by Friday. Anyway, thank you guys for watching Any Chatter Slurkers. I'll be live when I'm live. You'll see me on the main channel for sure. And once again, thank you for your guys' patience. Life's been hard, but you know what? I'm glad that I have folks who still want to hang out. So genuinely, thank you all. Have a good one. Bye-bye.